Hello and welcome to ActiveNet Insights. ActiveNet Insights is all about giving our buyers and our operators a bit of insight into the organisations that are attending ActiveNet, our brilliant suppliers, those people who really allow us to deliver the event in the way we want to. And today I'm really uh, looking forward to a conversation with uh, Andy Catwell from Mia um, Bodytech. So um, Andy, just give us an idea first. What is the product? What do you sell? So um, Mia Bodytech is a um, whole body EMS provider. Um, it's a uh, a full body suit effectively and it stimulates your muscles um, but it, there's a difference really in terms of um, what a lot of people would know in the market is local EMS um, and that works on individual muscle groups so the idea of, of whole body EMS is that you get a full body workout in a short space of time so 20 minutes um, and it works your agonist and your antagonist muscles at the same time so it's super efficient mm -hmm. and um, really sort of um, improves your your healthy way of life effectively it's just a, a different sort of angle on, on on a workout compared to your sort of traditional strength training type activity okay um i absolutely love tla's three letter acronyms they're everywhere in the world just give us just give us the definition of ems just so that we're all... so ems is electromuscular stimulation right Okay. I mean, there's, there's a couple of different angles on that in terms of the, it comes from the original Greek, I think. Um, myo is, is another word for the M. So, um, but yeah, electromuscle stimulation. And that's Fantastic. what the company is all about. Okay, excellent. Um, and I know I spoke to Phil quite a lot about coming to Act. And obviously, you were going yeah. to be there in person um, on, on the 24th of March, I think it was 2020. Of course, uh, a little Correct, infection yeah. got in the way of that. So, <laughs> yeah. but, but give me an idea. Why, why is it that you want to come to ActiveNet? What do you think you'll get from it? I think it's really important for us um, with a, a relatively new product in the UK to to get out and speak to as many people as we can at, at as many events as we can, really. But those um, sort of things like ActiveNet covers the opportunity to speak to um, buyers and, and suppliers from around the UK in, in, a, in a nice sort of environment, short amount of time, and, and really get to sort of know them and, and talk to them about the product to, in more detail, really, and get them to... Um, being as, as enthused as we are about the, the products that we, we have to offer and, yeah. you know, what we can do for them in terms of helping them with the business, really. Yeah, I, I was really looking forward because every time I see Phil, he always tries to get me to one of your steps. <laughs> as yet, I've not done it. And, and acting oh. was going to be my, my debut to have, yeah. a, have a go with it. So I, I was really disappointed when it got cancelled. So Talk to us then about what what are you going to how do how do buyers and suppliers interact sorry how do buyers and operators interact with you how can they get a bit of this technology in, in the in the spaces that they operate? Um, I'm glad you mentioned putting the suit on because I think that that is one of the things that um, is really important for us. You, it's something that you have to experience. It's really difficult for us to articulate how it feels on your body and how it works without necessarily trying the suit on and whether that's people who work in the fitness team or, or whatever that you know that's something that we absolutely do and we'll drive mm -hmm. all across the UK in order to do that um, but I think there's a number of ways that the, that the product can be used really so um, a lot of the the business in, in the UK we're sort of looking um, directly to to work with personal trainers at the moment. Right. Um, one of the other ways is obviously with um, local authority and, and leisure trusts in terms of the uh, sort of an in-house um, option that we can do as well. Um, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, bringing people together after COVID, bringing people back in, using something attractive in, in order to, mm. to bring people back. And that's one of, one of our customers is doing that and, and actively using EMS to sort of try and attract people back in as a one-on-one -on -one sort of um, offer in terms of, um, you know, it's a little bit more COVID secure, those who are a bit more sensitive about going out mm. onto the gym floor in, in you know, in a, in a busy environment. And then obviously those who have issues in terms of group X being um, sort of, uh, not being able to, to operate in group X mm. uh, in tier three or above. Yeah. Uh, and they've been actively calling their members and saying, you know, look, why don't you come in and try if you're a little bit worried, why don't you just come in and try this one-on-one -on -one or one to two, if you've got, if you've got two machines, um, small environment, get changed, but a really effective workout. You know, it's like, it's a bit like doing your three day split in, in 20 minutes. So right. it's, um, you know, it's, it's exhilarating and it's something that we really, we're really passionate about and want people to try. Yeah, I, I really like that idea of something that's different as well, because 
I think, um, come come an, a reopening date and, and probably a permanent reopening date because of the vaccine, there's going to be an awful lot of organisations throwing an awful lot of money at, at, a, at a sales campaign, effectively. So to be able to, to go out with something that's very different that your club, probably your next you know, town club isn't going to have must be quite an interesting way of, of pushing that particular um, advantage to some of those customers. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's just an example of using technology um, with, a, with a workout, really, and how to, to do it. It's something that, you know, we're a company that was born in, in 2007. Mm. Um, back in Germany, it's a German product. It's well researched. It's professionally built. You know, it, it's real hard wearing. And you've got, um, it, it's grown massively, you know, across Europe, Eastern Europe, Germany, France, you know, and there's some massive success stories in terms of, those companies that have taken it on and used it um, but we're really just sort of growing the market in the UK and the US really at the moment so um, it's a really good opportunity to, for people to get in early doors as well be one of those early adopters yeah um, and you know be the ones that, that lead the way in terms of, of whole body EMS uh, along with us yeah absolutely and those, those that know me know I, I did a lot of work within and that type of stuff and I've always been really impressed with the way the German parent company is pushing this from a safety point of view you know even to the point of doing some regulatory work as well aren't they? Absolutely so safety first is, is one of our mottos and, it, and it's something that the, the company is really um, passionate about believe it or not so it's very much a one to one or one to two it's regulated in terms of the amount of um so one trainer to two people maximum if you've got two machines um distance from the client um operation in terms of, of how you use it and also how often you can use it so it's a, it's a really powerful workout as well so one of the regulations is also that if you use the strength mode um, that you can only do that once every five days right. and for those people who've tried it out and, and then experience uh, some of the doms post post workout will we'll know exactly why as well <laughs> Yeah, Dom, Dom's is something that does exist, particularly after I've played squash and uh, hockey, I think it tends to be the worst one for Dom's for me because I don't play it. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's um, Dom's exist a lot when people do something different to their body. I think one of the things with, with this is it activates fast twitch fibres a lot more than slow twitch. And, and that's something that is quite difficult to do in conventional training. Um, and we've got some of the stats around, you know, um, 72 hours post workout. So when you have a, a big workout, your creatine kinase levels go really high in the, in the body. So 72 hours post-workout, your, um, your CK levels in your bloodstream are 10 times higher than somebody that had run a marathon the previous day. Right. So that's it's kind of, that's a marker of, of how mm. tough the workout is. But I think in terms of that, um, one of the things is it's really accessible as well. So, um, you know, almost anybody can do it. There's a couple of contraindications that would be sort of included in terms mm -hmm. of that, that safety thing that we talk about, pacemaker and pregnancy. Yeah. But, you know, whereas you wouldn't be able to take um, anybody along to a, to a hit class and sort of, you know, run them through something like that for 45 minutes, pretty much anybody can put the jacket on and do it. So it's, um, it's really accessible to all as well, which is one of, the, one of the good things about it. Brilliant. OK, Andy, well, that, that's our time taken up. But what I will say is I'm really looking forward to doing a proper event so I can try it on and, and get this this exercise workout that you described. So Andy, thank you so much for your time. You take care and we'll catch up at ActiveNet. Cheers. Thanks, David. Cheers.